Meet Nutton. Nutton Sack. Nutton Sack is no ordinary hockey player. He doesn't train very hard. He doesn't care all that much. And he's not much of a team player. What he does care about is his dog, Ralphie, trying to hit on women and sitting on the couch and fucking doing nothing. With the Memorial Cup starting tomorrow, you think Nut and Sack would be training, you know, watching game tapes. But he just wanted to go out in the town, drink a few beers, hitting some girls, and so he did it. There were a lot of girls there that Nutton was interested in, but the problem was, all the girls there had boyfriends, and the boyfriends didn't like Nutton talking to their girlfriends. The thing with Nutton is, he's not afraid of a fight, and that's exactly what he got that night. Nutton knew nothing was going to happen that night. He wasn't taking anyone home. But he did know there was a big game coming up. He really did think he should watch some tapes, study up their players, which sides they shoot, what are they going to do in a breakaway. So he went home and did that. The only thing Nutton liked doing when he got home was being greeted by his dog. Now, Nutton knew that he had to take this whole hockey thing a lot more seriously. If he wanted to move out of this shitty apartment, move into a big house with a lot of land like he used to have when he lived with his parents, he had to put the time in. He had to work out. He had to grind it out like the rest of the players on his team. But Nutton hated watching game footage with his teammates. He just wanted to be able to see himself. He didn't want to see all the other players skating around. He wanted the view of just him. So he went on his computer, searched around a bit, and found out a little thing called GoPro. Now that Nutton had the GoPro, he was going to be able to film his first game of the Memorial Cup. But it was getting late, and tomorrow would be the big day for Nutton, the first day of the Memorial Cup. So he had to get some sleep, and be ready for the biggest game of his life. This was it, day one of the Memorial Cup, all the scouts watching, and all the pressure on him. He hadn't seen an atmosphere like this in all his years playing in the OHL. This was something much more special than just an ordinary home game. He had his GoPro set up, everything was good, all he had to do was just focus in and get ready for some shots. With the first period coming to a close, Nutton Sack had been playing very solid, keeping it very simple, and just trying to keep his team in it. Nutton was actually hoping to get a few more shots because he was pretty bored with only five shots in the first. Now the second period's starting, Nutton's ready, his teammates are ready, they're hoping to get a few goals and Nutton's hoping to keep a few out. And just like that, at the start of the second period, his teammates break in, get a penalty called on them, come in and score. The 
his team up 1-0, nothing new. He had to dial in and make sure they didn't score a goal. And his team wasn't the highest scoring team, so he had to make sure that nothing went past him. With a couple of saves under his belt, his teammates came right back and scored for him. With a two-goal lead now, Nutton was feeling a little comfortable. But he knew his team could probably get one more, and that would probably be it for them. So he had to make sure he didn't let out any easy goals in. Again, Mr. Sack makes a few great saves. Not great, but decent saves. And his teammates come again and reward him with another goal. Now three goals up, that's for sure a great lead. Not new, the, the game was in the bag at this point, there's no way that they would lose. Well, I guess Nutton would have to find out the hard way. Just like fucking that. Three to two. The motherfucking nut and sack couldn't keep a lead. Well, he had a lead. But he wasn't feeling too confident. Now with only a minute left in the third period, all Nutton had to do was shut it down and keep it simple. Cover the puck as much as you can and make sure your sentiments do their job. And ride out the rest of the game. With an open net miss like that, with less than a minute left, that was crucial in the game. As they come back up the ice, Nutton's freaking out, and they score! Less than a minute. Less than 20 seconds. All he had to do was bury the puck. That's it. Now it's 3-3, going into overtime. If he just scored in the empty net, they'd be winning. But now it goes into the first overtime. The puck's about to drop, and the boys are ready. Nutton's a little shaken up from that, but he, he's ready to go now. But his team presses on. As do they. Chances go back and forth. Nutton's making solid saves, keeping his team in it. Pissed that he lost his three goal lead. But his team can't capitalize either. They get a close chance with hitting the post. And Nutton makes an unbelievable save, sliding across with his glove. period coming to a close. Nutton's feeling good. He's making some great saves. Keeping his team in it. Now the second overtime starts. And he gets a close call. Keeps it out. Making solid saves. With 47 shots against, Nutton's being a solid performer. But how long can he keep it up for going into the second overtime? Or is this the third? His team can't get his defense isn't doing well. And just like that. All that effort. All that work. For what? 
His teammate pinching down low, leaving guy f way open in the front. Nutton can't react quick enough, and they win. Devastating to Nutton and his teammates. They lose their first game of the Memorial Cup.